Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. Louise from Nourish Beauty Box kindly sent me one of their boxes for me to unbox for you guys since I've never tried their service before. So I'm just going to do that and show you their April box. So although they're called the Nourish Beauty Box, it didn't come in a box. It came in a plastic bag, so that's one thing uh, that I noticed. I opened it just to make sure that it was the package because I couldn't tell from the outside if it came from them or not so I just opened a smidge right here just to make sure and I'm pretty sure this is it. Before I get into that I just want to let you guys know that they are a monthly subscription box. I believe it's $34.95 a month and you get four full-size products. One of them is the, a tote bag and the other three full-size products are organic, cruelty-free, um, ingredient conscious brands or products. So. Let's find out what those products are. So I'm just gonna open up this bag really quick for you. So this is the tote bag that it came in. And a little card. This is really cute. We make the perfect pair and it's uh, two little pairs there that's really adorable. Paraben free, GMO free, botanical and cruelty free. So April, okay, actually I don't wanna read what's in this box. So I'm gonna <laughs> skip this little in section here and it says the box value is $112.94 and that is in US dollars. So I'm I chose not to read what's in here so I just want to be surprised. And this oh this is their little okay I'm just gonna show you guys this first because this is really cute. This is our tote bag that it came with. It's a nearish beauty box and it has like a picture of jello, peanuts peanut butter, toast peanut butter on it. So this is a really cute tote bag. The first thing I see here is called Studio Aroma Holistic Essentials. Not exactly sure what this is, but let's open this up. So it's made in BC, Canada. Woo, Canadian brand here, that's awesome. And the ingredients are rose hip oil, golden jojoba, damask rose essential oil, sandalwood essential oil. So not exactly sure what this is for. Four. Okay, on to the next one. Prim Botanicals Lip and Cheek Glow. Hydrating Lip and Cheek Balm. A super hydrating mistake proof balm for your lips and cheeks that create a healthy looking glow in an instant. This unique paraben free gel builds and blends easily to create the ultimate rosy glow. Dab onto cheeks with your ring finger and blend out gently. Pat onto lips for soft, moisturized skin. It's vegan, no mineral oil, no parabens, no phthalates, gluten-free, hypoallergenic, and no animal testing. So, that's what that looks like in the packaging. Whoa. And that's what that looks like. So I'm just gonna swatch this really quick. Super creamy. Like, melted immediately. So I just swatched the, the red color. When you blend it out, it looks more pink than red. So that's good to know. It looks pretty um, moisturizing. I'm not sure how that goes with my skin. When you blend it out, it looks more soft. So the next color is this, oh, it like melts the second you put your finger in it. Kind of reminds me of coconut oil. So I'm just gonna swatch this one right here. This is more of like a plummy, you can tell the difference. But when you blend it out, they're more sheer, if anything. When you really blend it out, they end up kind of looking pretty similar. Um, I just wanna like take a sniff at these. These smell like, kind of like candy. I tried to find this product just now on the brand's website and I couldn't find this particular product, so I'm actually not sure what this retails for from the brand, but on the card it says that this costs, this is the full size and it costs $22. Maybe I'll try a little bit on my lips. Now people ask me quite a bit if I wear lipstick in my videos, but because I film, when I'm filming videos like this where I'm talking a lot, I'm most likely not wearing any sort of lipstick or stain or anything just because I prefer not to worry about whether I have anything on my teeth. So I'm just gonna put on a touch right now just to see <clears throat> As it shows up, I can't tell. Oh, I have a mirror. This actually just might be my lip color. Yeah, it's not going to show up on my lips. Can you guys tell? My lips are really pigmented though and they're very dark. So this probably won't show up. So I'll try layer on the red one and see how that goes. Uh, yeah, this one you can see a little bit more. 
Oh, it's very moisturizing. Also guys, sorry that I look like I rolled out of bed. I kind of did, but yeah, it's great on the lips. Feels really good, but I feel like it doesn't do anything for color because my lips are so pigmented. So maybe this would work a lot better for those of you who don't have that dark of lips like I do because it would show up better, but it still just looks like my regular lip color. Okay, maybe I'll just put on my cheeks now. I have blush on, but so I will just dab this on. Oh, that's pretty. That looks like my blush right now. I have my 100% pure blush on at the moment. Whoa. But reminder guys, I don't have foundation on so my skin is looking really shiny at the moment because I didn't powder or anything. So I'll just even it out, I guess. Well, this blends out nicely. You know what? I actually think I like this better as a cheek tint. Although it has kind of a sheen, which I'm not sure how I feel about right now. Maybe it's because I don't have foundation on, so it looks really, like I look really oily. What do you guys think? Uh, not bad, not bad. Never heard of you guys before. Interesting. So this apparently retails for 22 bucks. And the last thing that she sent me is Body Aftershave Balm. Oh no! It leaked a little bit. It's a little wet and I'm not sure. So this something in here is very liquidy and it's leaking out. Um, so this is Dr. Severin Body Aftershave Balm for Women. Never heard of this. Can't read this label because it's in a different language. I think it's in German. Okay, wait. On this side it says that it's vegan, which is all I can read. And then it says, for beautiful, smooth, and soft skin, apply after hair removal shaving or showering, soothes the skin, regenerates and calms, acting quickly against irritation, protects against inflammation of pores. For external use only, do not ingest. This product is vegan friendly and cruelty free. Yeah, this thing is wet. All right, oh yeah, made in Germany. It was German. Whoa, can you see that on the side? It's pretty liquidy. So it soothes the skin for aftershave. This oil is just like a serum. So you put this on after you wash your face before you moisturize. I'm not gonna use it right now. I just wanna smell it. The scent is light, which is good. I don't know, I can definitely smell the mixtures of scent of rose hip oil and sandalwood essential oil. I can definitely smell those. Oh, and jojoba, I can definitely smell that. But all mixed together, I'm not really sure how to describe this. Kind of like a baby oil scent, sort of. Not exactly, it's similar to that though. But yeah, interesting. I'll have to try this out and see how that goes. The aftershave I put over there because it's leaking, but the scent of that is pretty strong. To talk about the Nourish Beauty Box, she sent me this and I feel like these tote bags are really cute. I think they're great to add in to the first box that some that people would subscribe to. I'm not sure how I feel about it being like considered a product because on their website it says four products that get sent to you. One of them is a tote bag and then the other three products are actual like product products and I think the the tote bags are super super cute I just feel like maybe some people don't want tote bags all the time so I probably would be one of those just because I have um, a lot of grocery shopping bags already and another thing is that it's called a nourish beauty box and I was actually hoping to get a box a physical box so yeah like that's my only critique is that you know a nourish beauty box hopefully I would assume it would come in a box. This was kind of just wrapped in a tote bag, which might be the, a reason why that aftershave probably probably leaked because it was more susceptible to hitting things in this bag. There wasn't a lot of protection in this bag, so unfortunately that ended up leaking. So that's my only con about the subscription box. Overall, I'm excited to use these. For this, is kind of just like a moisturizer, lip balm. If anything, it doesn't do much for color. This, I can't really tell you um, since I haven't used it yet. And then the aftershave, I'll have to try that out um, when I shave my legs. So I would just like to thank Louise for sending me a Nourish Beauty Box to unbox for you guys. So thank you very much. That's it for my Nourish Beauty Box unboxing. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and to let me know. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. Hit that button below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.